Hello dear viewers. I am your substitute teacher for the day. My name is Ms. Hadiza McKenna Ababuo. I am from South Africa. Today I want to go through basic quantities and SI units with you. We will be clarifying the difference between quantities and units, then give some examples. Now when we talk about SI units. We are talking about those units that are the standard units of measurement. SI means international standard, which means they are the same all over the world. So, no matter where you go, these units are acceptable units of measurement. Now for basic units. Just to make a note, basic units are also called fundamental units. I want you to think of the word basic. It really means simple. Therefore, Basic units are the simplest representations of all measurement. Let's say that again, they are the simplest representations of all measurement. All other units and measurements are derived from the basic SI units. For this reason, basic units are very important part of measurement. We are moving on to basic quantities, I want you to really think about this statement. Basic quantities are the simplest property of matter that can be measured. For example, a simple measurable property of matter is its mass or length. Now for the summary of the distinction. Quantity. The quantity is what is being measured. Remember it is a simple measurable property. On the other hand, the unit represents what is being measured. Please note that all measurement or quantity must have a magnitude or size and a unit. For example, let's say length equals to 10 meters. Length is the quantity. It is what is being measured. In this example, 10 is the magnitude of length. It signifies how large the length is. While the meters represent the unit. It indicates that you are measuring length. Now let's look at the basic quantities and their units. Please note that for junior or basic level examinations, only five of the seven basic quantities are usually tested. These are mass, length, time, temperature and electric current. The amount of substance and luminous intensity are generally included for more advanced level examinations. The unit for mass is kilograms, represented by kg. The unit for length is meters, represented by m. The unit for time is seconds, represented by s. The unit for temperature is kelvin, represented by k. The unit for electric current is ampere represented by a the unit for the amount of substance is mole represented by mol the unit for luminous intensity is candela represented by cd now let's look at some examples of using basic quantities in measurements we can measure the length of the wall the mass of an object we can measure how fast someone runs by finding the time in seconds that they ran we can measure the temperature of someone or something. We can measure the current in a circuit. We can measure the luminous intensity of a light source or light rays. And finally, we can determine the mole of a substance. I am happy for the opportunity to be here with you. I promise that I will come again. I do appreciate you watching and please remember to stay true to yourself. Please share, like, Comment and subscribe. Please take care until I see you again.